NASA's latest update on interstellar comet 3I Atlas, its huge size, and as it careens closer to Earth, we're going to take a look at its trajectory, and you'll see the simulation that NASA has given us, and it's uh, basically at the same area of the plane of our planets, but the shocking aspect is that it comes from what it looks like to me, careening into Mars. You'll see it right here. Boom, right there. And then it goes very close to Jupiter as it goes out from the solar system. Now the size of the nucleus of this interstellar comet, 3I Atlas, is still being refined, but is estimated to be between three and a half miles in diameter and though some interpretations of the data suggest it could be up to 9.3 miles or 28.6 miles across. Initial estimates were much larger but later observations from the Hubble Space Telescope, Vera C. Rubin Observatory and other instruments have helped narrow down the range. As we know the, this data, data from various telescopes worldwide, are being studied every day, and new information is being given to us every day. The evolution of the size estimates. The initial estimate early July was around 12 miles, and late July, according to the Vera Rubin Observatory, it was reduced to 6 miles, in August 2025, Hubble data said the estimate was reduced to a di diameter of three and a half miles. And further analysis, September 2025, further Hubble data has suggested the nucleus could be as small as 1,050 feet. Some astronomers suggest a diameter between 0.32 to 3.5 miles. The key factors affecting the estimates, the hidden nucleus. The actual nucleus is difficult to observe directly because it's hidden by a bright cloud of dust and gas known as the coma. There is outgassing. 3 hour Atlas is ex it's exhibiting outgassing activities with a massive cloud of CO2 being generated which is much larger than expected for its potential solid nucleus size. Different observational data. Various observatories and data analysis techniques contribute to different estimates of the object size. And the current observations indicate a relatively small nucleus, but one that is producing an exceptionally large coma, suggesting unusual properties. Future observations and potentially from the James Webb Space Telescope are expected to provide further insights into the object's composition and size. Now how the interstellar object came to us according to Earth Sky. A team of scientists led by Xavier Perez Couto of University of Coruna, Spain, traced the path of interstellar object 3I Atlas back to 10 million years. This is only the third known object found traveling in our solar system that did not originate with our sun and its planets. Its trajectory tells us it must have come from another star system, but which one? The astronomers were seeking its original star or any stars that might have per perturbated its path as it traveled from its point of origin to our solar system. And the researchers examined three atlas trajectory to help with the help of Gaia Space Observatory. For 12 years, Gaia collected data on billions of stars in our Milky Way galaxy, precisely noting their positions again and thereby determining their motions. And these astronomers calculated 
the calculations took them more than 100 million astronomical units from our solar system, and with these data in hand, researchers said they identified 93 nominal encounters for 3i atlas, 62 of which were significant. And yet they found that none of those encounters produced any meaningful perturbations of Atlas's orbit. So in other words, all of those 93 or 62 encounters happened too fast with the stars and too fast, for, too far from 3i Atlas to meaningfully impact its trajectory. And in the end, they did not find a star along 3i Atlas's path that might have been responsible for bringing this third known interstellar object to us. And as you might imagine, tracing three atlases path backwards through the galaxy is a daunting task, in part because small uncertainties in orbit as stellar motion grow rapidly over time. They conclude that it's likely originated from Milky Way's thin disk, not its thick disk, as was mentioned some months ago. The thin disk contains somewhat younger objects than the thin, thick disk, uh, concerning, uh, according to the researcher's paper. The scientists published their not-yet-peer-reviewed paper on ARXV September 10, 2025. And to unlock the galactic mysteries with 3i Atlas, it's thought to have been drifting through interstellar space for many billions of years before encountering our solar system. Perez Couto and team said the interstellar comet is a key probe for the galactic population of icy planetismals. In other words, the formation of the solar system is a messy process. Thus, planets come to be an astronomer think, and according to theories of planet formation, clearly clearing processes also are common, sometimes involve material often the outer icy edges, regions of debris, getting ejected from a solar system altogether. Scientists first spotted 3i Atlas early July 2025, and since then, one question has been asked countless times, will we send out a spacecraft to take a closer look? Earth Sky will, will Trigg spoke to University of Edinburgh Colin Snodgrass on August 21st to find out the answer. And Colin essentially said, no, we don't have time to organize a space mission specifically for 3i Atlas. He talked about a future mission, though, the European Space Agency's Comet Interceptor. This upcoming spacecraft will be primed to intercept future interstellar objects. Now, the thing is, we know that 3i Atlas is careening through our solar system at about 130,000 to 150,000 miles per hour. We don't have any type of a craft that we can send to catch up with it and keep up with it. It's too fast. We don't have any capability of going that fast. It's worth noting that the behavior of 3i Atlas, much like the signature of previously seen sunbound comets originating with our, within our solar system, but 3i Atlas is moving fast. It's traveling through our solar system at around 130 miles an hour, or 210 kilometers, 1,000 kilometers per hour. And that is the highest velocity ever recorded for a solar system visitor. Now, the two previously known interstellar objects 1i Umamau and 2i Borisov, Umamau's size is thought to be about 200 meters, across, about 600 feet across at its widest, and we recall it had an elongated shape, and Borisov was thought to be less than a kilometer across. Umamau was traveling at around 58,000 miles an hour, and Borisov around 78,000 miles an hour, well, 3i Atlas is at 130 miles an hour. A team of astronomers led by Bin Yang of Instituto de Estudios Artificios in Chile 
said that Comma 3 Atlas has abundant water ice, and they also found that the comet has a dust composition similar to D-type asteroids in our solar system. D-type asteroids are those which orbit a bit farther out than main belt asteroids, and scientists think D-type asteroids contain organic-rich silicates, carbon, and anhydrous silicates. Shortly after the discovery of 3i Atlas on July 1st, 2025, Astronomers were saying it was likely the oldest comet we've ever seen. That claim came from University of Oxford astronomer Matthew Hopkins, whose analysis suggests the three atoms might be more than 7 billion years old, predating our solar system by more than 3 million years, according to what he explains. Our interstellar visitor will get its closest to the sun in about Two astronomical units are twice as far as Earth is from the Sun in October. It reaches uh, perihelion, its closest point to the Sun. It will be traveling at almost 25,000 kilometers per hour or 15,500 miles per hour. The speedy nature of Comet 3i Atlas is another indication of its interstellar nature. It has to be moving at a blistering pace in order to escape the sun's gravitational pull. Marshall Eubanks, physicist at VLBI radio astronomer and co-founder of Space Initiative said the comet will come within about 0.4 AU of Mars in October. And that would make it just barely observable by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. So bottom line, researchers have traced the path interstellar comet 3i Atlas back 10 million years and looking for its origin or close encounters with other stars, according to NASA JPL. October 29, 2025 is a critical date when 3i Atlas reaches perihelion. This moment is pivotal for both observation and speculation and our, the uh, scientists hope to capture the comet's closest approach to the sun, revealing structural changes, emission patterns, or other anomalies. If 3i Atlas were to contain artificial intelligence artifacts, signals, or other signs of intelligence, of course, this would be very profound. Extraterrestrial life evidence if we detected techno signatures, that would be the first credible evidence of advanced alien civilizations. And questions about artificial origins raise concerns about risks to us here on Earth. Will they be malevolent beings? Scientific breakthrough studying the comet, of course, would reveal unknown elements, isotopes, or energy processes that may revolutionize physics, astronomy, and what we understand of interstellar objects. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.